what? Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. We're in Ultra Space or something, so, um... Just don't question it. <laughs> oh, Guzma's just chillin'. I'm the team Skull Boss, and I've never been scared of nothing to nobody. Heck, I live my life making people scared of me. So listen to what Big Bad Guzma has to say. Y'all are stupid. What a- what a nice gentleman. How in the world did you even get to this place? I got no idea how you did it, but here you are. How have you not starved to death? It's all dark in here. Got no clue what's going on, but there's beasts everywhere. Try to catch one of those things. I don't want to know what it did to you when you tried that. You just ran at it? You really thought that that was going to do something? But it possessed me. That's when it happened. My body, my mind, they started running wild and I couldn't do anything about it. It was like I became somebody else, and I finally felt what fears feel like. It was terrifying. I got chills that multiply. I may be the team Skull Boss, but I've never been scared of nothing or nobody. But that lady, she's on another level. She's way far gone. She lost her mind over these Ultra Beasts. There's no talking to her, no reasoning with her. She's just gone. That doesn't change anything. I still have to go. Uh, wait. <laughs> okay. What if, like, Lucimine, like, just got absorbed into an Ultra Beast and then made it an Ultra Ultra Beast? Too many jellyfish. Look at it. The world of my Ultra Beasts. The world where the only thing that exists is the love between Nihilego and myself. This is getting, like, into some weird fanfiction stuff. So beautiful, so delicious. This is the real paradise. And yet you... Why must you continue to pester me? I am sick of you, sick through and through. Who told you that you could come here to the perfect, beautiful world of my beasts and me? Think about what you're saying. What about Mr. Guzma? Don't you care what happens to him? Just leave. I don't need you here. I don't need you any longer. Look around you. Look at this beautiful world that I've finally come to. You want me to go back to that world? That's what you came to bother me for. Even you cannot be that stupid. You always do that. It's just like it was back at Aether Paradise. Only thinking of yourself and what you want. What? And why shouldn't I? I can live here in a world filled with only the things I love. And I will live here. I don't care if you're my child or not. I don't care if you're loyal to me or not. I don't care if you're the rarest Pokemon there is in the world or not. If you're not beautiful enough to be worthy of my love, then I don't need you! Harsh, man. Also, she looks just like you, so... That's right, all I need to exist in my world are the things that I want to have with me. Everything else is just a bother to me. I am the one who is sick of you, mother! Children. Children are not just things that belong to their parents. Pokemon are not just things that a trainer can do whatever they want to. I am alive. Cosmog is alive. 
We are not things for you to collect. We're not made for you to just discard when you get bored with us. That is terrible, Mother. You are terrible. Terrible? Me? How am I any different from any Pokémon trainer like your little friend there? What do you do with a Pokémon you can't use? You remove it from your party as you please. Enough with this useless talk, Lily. I will never forgive you for stealing Cosmog from me. Never! Back when you were small, you would listen to everything I said without question. For a time, even you were adorable to me. But you've changed. You've become ugly. For since you met this girl and learned to defy your own mother- Hey, whoa, whoa! 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 I'm just standing here, not being in the drama. You hateful little trainer. How dare you intrude upon this world that was meant for Nihilego and me. It is not to be born. With Nihilego's power, I will show you how wrong you were to come here. Is that the beast ball? Mmm, so she did catch one. What? I feel like in most Let's Plays, face cam would really not add anything to the Let's Play for me. It, that moment, though, had there been face cam, I think that would have been... That would have been the moment. Holy crap. What even just happened? And it really unnerves me that now that she has dark hair, she's looking a little too much like me. <laughs> okay, um, Merman Man, now's not the time to be petted. We'll get Eddie Murphy out here. Okay, remember... Remember when I jokingly said, what if she got absorbed into, and then she became- r remember that? That just happened, and I'm- I'm- I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm a little bit too, um, too surprised, really. I mean, I didn't think that we'd be able to save her. I thought she was past saving. I was kind of thinking that maybe they would kind of, like, do a cop-out and make her be like, oh, Lily. You know, and just, like, change her ways, even though it was pretty obvious she wasn't going to. But I'm glad they didn't do that. I'm glad she stayed evil. Because I think that's more in character for her. But, like... I think she loves this Pokemon a little too much. If you know what I'm saying. Just a little bit too much. Clefable! Can we not do this? It's really annoying. How much does she have? Like, is it five or ten? Can't be that much. Every time we're just getting a little bit closer. Well, you lost. Alright, Eddie Murphy. Okay, Miss Sass, please don't die. I just need you to get through this one. Think you can do it. Believe in you. Oh, so close. Oh, nice! Avoiding the stun spore. Good job, Miss Sass. There we go. Why did she need to, like, become a jellyfish monster lady to fight me with her Pokémon? Because I feel like she could have done that without becoming a scary jellyfish lady. 
I mean... I don't think it really adds anything. But... Good job, Storm. Finish this one off. How many Pokemon does she have left? Two left. I guess that thing is faster than me, which is fine. That thing just makes, like, the weirdest noise, and it's just creepy. I'll stay in. Beware's the last one. I think Beware's just normal type, isn't it? Maybe it does have a dual typing. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really see the point of that. You didn't... <laughs> you just sort of hurt yourself and helped me, which is fine, but still... All right, we're gonna we're gonna risk it. The high jump kick with Khaleesi. Okay, see that makes more sense a little bit. Don't miss. Ah, I really thought that was gonna do more, but I guess not. Okay, so it's just gonna keep uh, doing that. It is gonna just keep doing that. I mean... Fine? I'm not sure if I wanna... I guess I could risk another high jump kick. Cause if she misses it's gonna hit her, which is the only problem. Oh, so close. All right, we're just gonna go with Trap Kick because that should finish it. Ah, oh, come on, I thought it would for sure, I guess not. <sighs> All right, well. How about this then? There we go. All right. Hydro pump. Well, I don't know though. 80% accuracy and it only has five. I don't know. No! I did not want to do that. That's not the button I hit. Oh well. Well, so much for that. I have a hard scale. It's fine. Yikes. Is it just gonna like kill her or what's going on here? Whoa! I thought it had to stay back there. I thought Nebby had to stay at the entrance. Um... Is she dead? Am I dead? <laughs> okay, good. Well, they're not fused anymore. Hey, I'll take that. No. Mother! Ugh, let her go. She sucks. Mother. Lily.
Hmm. Boop. <laughs> when did you stop becoming beautiful? Um, we gotta go, guys. What's going on? And just when things were getting good. What? Really? Alright, we just- we just gotta go, like, now, guys. There are so many Nihilego! Well, she just vanished. I guess that happens. In ultra space. Oh, hey, we're back. Did you at least get me that ult that beast ball? I was concerned, so I ascended, and what do I find but the legendary Pokemon in a strange hole in the sky? Yeah, typical Tuesday. However, I'm relieved to see you all unharmed. Hapu? Is my mother... I thought she- okay. You there, big fella. Carry the lady, will ya? She is weak, but I do not believe that she is seriously harmed. We should take her to be treated directly. Huh? Oh. Really? After all that and she's not even dead? Really thought Pokemon was gonna go there this time. Guess not. Kita, you have done well in guiding Lily, though is she- though she is not a trainer. And Lily, you too gave it your best. We will wait for you down below. When you're ready, come find us. Thank you, Hapu. So, Galeo, all I ever wanted to do was to help you get back to your own home. But instead you helped me over and over. Thank you. Thank you so much. La. <laughs> what is it? Shall I guess what it is you're trying to tell us? You just want to keep on traveling together with Kita and me, is that it? La 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 Leo. Looks like I was right. Of course I was. After all, we've been together so long. We're family now, aren't we? Of course I can tell how you feel. Because I feel the same. We met so many people as we traveled around all of Alola's islands. Professor Kukui and Professor Burnett. Kahuna Hala and his grandson Hal. Where the heck is Hal? And of course, the hero who appeared to save you when those Spear attacked. Our own Kida. And so many other people, too. But none of them matter. I don't know what the world you came from is like. But Alola's pretty great, too. Of course you want to see it all. It's just like Kahuna Hala told us. You can go so many places and meet so many Pokemon and people. And they will enrich your life. La Lira! But not with me. I'm not a trainer, Nebby. I can't take you on the adventures you want. I can't give you the fierce battles you want. Kata, I want you to face Nebby as only a trainer can. And I want you to give it a ball to call home. <laughs> I know this is what Nebby wants. It doesn't want this journey with you to end. And I want you to grant it its wish. All right, well, we're gonna do a save, cause in case I kill it, which would not be good. Solgaleo appeared. Sol Solgaleo was like, it didn't appear, it's been standing there. 55. Okay, we're at the same level, so... Water Pledge. It's not fire, though. It's steel, I think. Or is it steel fire? Whatever. This is good enough. I think two more of those should have it down far enough. Whoa, son. Calm down. 
that's a little bit unnecessary, Nebby. Do you want to come on this adventure or not? I don't want to do anything that's going to kill it. Which is kind of what I'm worried about. Whoa! Alright. Alright. Um, steel shouldn't hurt it too much because I'm pretty sure it is steel. So we'll just... We'll use that and see if it just hurts it enough to get it into red. Good job, Eddie. Took that hit like a tramp. Alright. Uh, okay. Now. Well, let's just do it just for fun. If only I would have gotten a critical capture on that. Oh, come on. Two, two though. That was close. I just think it's really funny to have legendaries in regular Pokeball. <laughs> Am I going to have to go to a Great Ball? Are you going to be that way, Nebby? I don't even know which ones I have. I'm not using the Master Ball. Could use a Luxury Ball. Try Great Ball. I love how it the, the regular Pokeball does better than the Great Ball. Wow, good job, Eddie. The defense. I'm just being stubborn now. Yes, got it. <laughs> That's great. Part of me wants to name it Simba, but I gotta name it Lion from Steven Universe because it just reminds me so much of Lion. All right, let's see what you got, buddy. It's your Psychic Steel. Wow. Prevents other Pokemon's moves or abilities from lowering its stats. Okay. Well. That's pretty cool. You're just gonna go in the box for right now, though. Please collect the Pokeball? Solgaleo. No, Nebby. Nebby, you belong with Kita now. She'll be the one to raise you. Just like any parent should raise their child, she will be your mother now. I may not have been able to do anything for you, Nebby, but I'm still glad I took you that day. So go with Kita and see the world. Have battles against strong Pokemon where you can use your full power. Meet other trainers who will make your heart dance with the thrill of it all. That's the kind of world that Kita can share with you. If it's you, I know I can trust you to raise my Nebby well. Take good care of it. And I will go to my mother. I need to see for myself that she'll be alright. Nebby, don't always be trying to get out of your Pokeball the way you always wriggled out of my bag. And don't forget that you're strong now. You have to be careful not to accidentally hurt anyone until you get used to your strength. And you can't just go running off to some other world anytime without telling anyone. You'll make Kita worry. Okay, I'm really... I'm really going this time. 
Alola. Oh, hey, it's you. Cripes, but I hate this place. It's exhausting climbing all the way up here. At least she gave me a good show, though. Guess it was worth coming this far, and the prof did ask me and all. Look, once you completed all your island trials and done your grand trials, then you gotta do one last thing. Final trial. Basically, it's a ceremony, you see. You beat all four kahunas in a row. Things are a little different this year. Now that we're getting a real Pokemon League here in Alola, too. So, girl, hope you can bother yourself to come along to the base of Ula Ula Island's Mount Lanakula. You remember Tapu Village, don't you? Where the folks were doing construction work? He'll be ready and waiting for you there. Suppose I could take you along with me. You want to do that? Sure. Looks like we're on this journey together, then. Well, back in Tapu Village. Um, yeah, we're we're not gonna go there right now. Although everyone is healed, so that's nice. Yeah, so I think that's actually gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to your support. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't. And soon we will be taking on the Elite Four. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.